a robot which fulfills his lifelong dream of experiencing human condition and even giving away his immortality because of love he feels towards a woman. And let me just mention that this woman is his initial master's granddaughter. Well that sounds kind of awkward. Anyways, this is a science fiction, comedy drama film called Bicentennial Man, released in 1999. Spoiler alert. While I might give you my opinion on the film, this is not a substitute for watching it for yourself. Links to the film are in the description. The NDR series Robot Andrew is introduced in 2005 into the Martin family home to perform housekeeping and maintenance duties, and introduces himself by showing a presentation of the three laws of robotics. Grace, the eldest daughter despises Andrew, but her younger sister Amanda is sympathetic to him, and Andrew discovers he feels emotions, and is drawn to spend more time with his little miss. He accidentally breaks one of her glass figurines and is able to carve a new one out of wood, which surprises Richard, her father. Richard takes Andrew to North M Robotics to inquire if Andrew's creativity was part of his programming. North M CEO Dennis Mansky claims this is a problem and offers to scrap Andrew, but instead Richard takes Andrew back home and encourages him to continue his creativity and explore other humanities. Andrew becomes a clockmaker and earns a sizable fortune managed by Richard after they find that robots have no rights under current laws. Time passes and Richard encourages Dennis to give Andrew the ability to present facial expressions to match his emotions. About two decades from being awoken, Andrew presents Richard with all the money he has made to ask for his freedom. Richard refuses to accept it but does grant Andrew his independence on the condition he may no longer reside at the Martin home. Andrew builds his own home by the beach. In 2048, Richard is on his deathbed and apologizes to Andrew for banishing him before he dies. Following Richard's death, Andrew goes on a quest to find other NDR robots that are like him, frequently communicating back to Amanda, who has since married and divorced, and has a son Lloyd and granddaughter Portia. Twenty years into Andrew's quest, he discovers Galadia, an NDR robot that has been modified with female personality and traits. Andrew becomes interested in how Galadia was modified by Rupert Burns, the son of the original NDR designer, and finds he has a number of potential ideas to help make robots appear more human-like. Andrew agrees to fund Rupert's work and to be a test subject, and is soon given a human-like appearance. Twenty years later, Andrew finally returns to the Martin home and finds that Amanda has grown old while Portia looks much like her grandmother at her age. Portia is initially cautious of Andrew but soon accepts him as part of the Martin family. Amanda eventually dies, making Andrew realize that all those he cares for will also pass on. He presents ideas to Rupert to create artificial organs that not only can be used in humans to prolong their lives but also to replace Andrew's mechanical workings. Andrew gains the ability to eat, feel emotions and sensations, and even have sexual relationships, resulting in him and Portia falling in love. Andrew petitions the World Congress to recognize him as a human as to allow him to marry Portia, but the body expresses concern that an immortal human will cause jealousy from others. Andrew returns to Rupert for one last operation, to change the artificial fluids dragging his body into a blood equivalent. Rupert cautions him that the blood will not last forever, causing his body to age, and Andrew will die in several more decades, a fate Andrew accepts. Andrew again approaches the World Congress to appeal their past decision, wanting to be able to die with dignity. Later in 2205, with Andrew's body deteriorating, he and Portia are both under life support monitored by Galadia, now with a human appearance. They hold hands and watch the World Congress as they recognize Andrew as a human being, the world's oldest at 200 years, and giving all rights confirmed by that, including validating his marriage to Portia. Andrew dies during the broadcast, which is confirmed by Galadia. Portia asserts that Andrew already knew the answer to whether he was human and then, after ordering Galadia to turn off her life support, she soon dies, hand in hand with Andrew as she whispers to him see you soon. And that is where the film ends, a really thought-provoking science fiction comedy drama story, but what are your thoughts? Write them in the comments. Don't forget to check the video description, and if you love the movie leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. If you like movies that make sense and create good mood, here are some other recaps to check out. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this one. Please comment your opinion and what should we watch next and I will see you in the next video.